We do. Can we have? Ten seconds in the second round. I see shit. Now we're going to go. Yeah, yeah, bro, we can start if you want. The title of uh, the Mark of the Beast system is in motion. Education you're getting into? 
Um, yeah. If you can, just pull up some notifications so you can read some articles and stuff too. You know what I mean? To further edify the points and stuff like that. I know you got it on the deck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody bring out a, uh, you know, trip, chip script. Yeah, um, I got something here. Um, this is um, Psalms. I want to read uh, 5 through 9, Father Bishop. Um, this is um, Psalms chapter 64, verse 5. They encouraged themselves in an evil matter. They communed of laying snares privately, saying, who shall see them? You know, and that goes to um, um, uh, the brother put out a video um, or earlier this week concerning um, the guy who invented the chip. Okay, now he was the um, the, the the brains behind uh, um, building the chip, but it was you know he you know did it as far as being like a advancement of technology, but now he, he soon realized that they were doing it in wickedness, so. He kind of is kind of remorseful that he had even did it. Mm -hmm. So he actually pulled the scripture of, of Revelation 13 9. And he's basically just telling the, the people um, that he was speaking to not to take it. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. But um, um but the whole the whole point is that is that they can they, they encourage themselves in evil matter because this, this is their ultimate goal of the elites, you know? And um Apostle Bar brought up a video um earlier this, earlier this week as well. Uh, called uh, Millennium 2000, and um, you know, um, I encourage brothers to watch that video as well. That video was done back in 1993, and they were talking about debit, debit back then, you know, and we never heard of even debit back then, mm -hmm. back in 1993, you know, because at that time we were using regular, uh, uh, yeah. regular cash, you know, you know, but um, basically they were telling you the the uh, the agenda that was set forth, right, and it says. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. They, both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. You know, it's because the ultimate goal is that they want they want they want to put their brain on you. Okay, they want to insert their their uh, 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 device upon you and and have you worship them, especially the um, uh, the of our people. You know. Okay, then then you have a washing out shop. You know, they want you to they want to be worshipped instead of them, instead of the Lord, right? It says, but the most high shall shoot at them with an arrow, suddenly should they be wounded. Because why? It's because when they start to bring forth this agenda in, in full force, okay, this is when the Lord's gonna crush their party, mm -hmm. so to speak, though. <clears throat> you know, this is when the Lord's gonna come in and um, um, um and catch his man off guard while he's eating. You know, when he thinks he's going to fulfill his uh, uh, endeavor, right? May I interject with a real quick precept? Very quickly. This is Job 5 and 12. It says, he, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Mm -hmm. You know, just like the brother was saying, you know, right when he's sitting down and eating, you know, when they say peace and safety, then shall sudden destruction come upon him, man. Because the Lord is going to um, disappoint your devices, your schemes. Your tricks, this whole building up the new world order, it's going to be torn down. You know, that was just, that was in um um uh, um um what was that Malachi one and four? Uh, you shall build, but I'll throw down. Right. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Uh, hey, build the new world order. You know. Yeah. Right. Um, this is the point right here, which is in fifth, the ninety first, right? This is verse nine. All men shall fear, and shall declare the work of the Most High. But they shall wisely consider his doings. Mm -hmm. So we're wisely considering the doings of the elite. You know? All right? And and, and the men, the elect men that are going to fear you, however, are going to consider. You know? And they're going to come into that fold, man. You know? Because now it's a race against um, the elect being woken up until this man uh, 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 fulfilling his, his, his endeavors. Mm -hmm. You know? But ultimately, though, he has is about that he can't pass, though. But the fact is, is that this man is working against, trying to work against the elect being woken up. Yeah. And, and is, I'm real quick, is, is the dude, I'm looking at two dudes, is it Charlie Walton or is it uh, Sanders? That was the guy, or Carl Sanders, do you remember the dude's name? Um, let me guy again. Uh, he did Millennium 2000. Uh, Millennium 2000 is another one called Lucifer 2000 on YouTube. You know, and this information is all out there for, for the Akim to really take heed, man. Because the spirit has to come up about the edification uh, upon what we're speaking of. Okay? You see? All right? Now, these men don't dictate the scriptures. The, the scriptures dictate the men and what their endeavors are, man. 
the scriptures tell you what Esau Edom plans on doing. Now edification is coming out with the videos that were that, that were dug up, that were back out. Like one video was, was done in 1993. They were talking about David back in 1993. Yeah. You know? And, and talking about like like freely, like, you know, that was that, that was we never even knew what David was back in 1993. You see what I'm saying? Right? We were using regular uh uh um uh, uh, Federal Reserve notes. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But it just goes to show you that that the times back then when they were talking about it now, we fully understand it now. Now we have to go back to the spirit and watch these videos and see, okay, well, oh wow, we, we right on top of it. They right on top of what they were talking about. Yeah. Okay? Because uh Esau Edom is or uh, was always trying to work 20 years ahead of time, 20 plus years ahead of time. You know, okay, because now you're going back to 1993. That's that's over 20 years. Wait, over 20 years ago. You see, you know, now it's being manifest, man. And and like I said, hey, the internet was set up for the elect, man, to wake up, man. So now we have the information at our fingertips, man, to really dig into this and and see that their tongues are falling upon themselves. You know, to bring to bring this out. Okay. Hey, if I could say something right quick with the title of the lesson, uh, the marketing B system is in motion. It's true because even as for, for a small example, here it is, I'm on the job, because here it is, the, these Edomites that have gradually introduced the market of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. They're not gonna go from cash to you taking a chip. Like the brother was saying, you know what I mean? They went from uh, cash, then they implemented the debit card. You know what I'm saying? From the debit card, from the debit card, now they got a chip on top of the debit card. You know what I'm saying? And then it's gonna, um, gradually go into the chip itself. You know what I'm saying? So it's pretty much programming the people to get used to using the chip, you know? And, and then you got the easy pass. That's the case, an example of the market of beast system. Right. If you go to uh, to the laundry man and you do your laundry, you get a laundry car, that has a chip in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's getting the people from, uh, familiar with using the chip. And you know, a lot of people is, have already uh, succumbed to that system. Because here it is, I'm on a job looking for change 420, but everybody got a car. <laughs> everybody got plastic. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what people have already accepted it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Little do they know. And it's the same thing with EBT as well, too, right? Yeah. This be EBT, you know, cash, but uh, hey, this brother was saying, man, you know, they started talking about debit in 93. And, uh, you know, hey, me coming up, being born in the 90s, man, hey, hey debit was something normal to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Nice. And um, that's why I see why Yahweh Bashima Shai is going to come back real soon because if Esau keeps having it his way, as these new generation come up, RFID getting in plenty of you is going to be something normal. Mm -hmm. Like, it ain't nothing wrong with it, man. I'm talking soon, man. You know, I'm talking like dudes that's like uh, uh, maybe 15, 14, 15, 16, and on up. They're going to be learned that RFID chip is normal, which is fucking not, man. All right, because it is symptoms of RFID chip. You're gonna be able, hey, uh, one symptom is you might you might get a uh, short term memory loss, man. Yeah. Long term memory loss. Mm -hmm. You know, which is uh, which is one of the main reasons of why you how about you shot can't do nothing for you. I can't save you, man. You could get your at any time. He saw want to just delete your memory. Mm -hmm. He could just delete you. Now you don't know your is right no more. You don't know what your name is or nothing, man. Mm -hmm. That RFID chip is dangerous, man. And it's like why? But it's like these other camps, man. They're saying uh, uh, it's not the mark of the beast, but they're not going to take it. Mm -hmm. But why the hell wouldn't you take it, man? Because that's going to be your new identification. That's going to keep you from the FEMA camps. That's going to keep you from getting beheaded. And at first, they're going to give you a little benefit. Like Kid Boo, he can open his door. Uh, you're going to have smart TV. You might be able to control your TV through your, uh, through your hand and shit, man. You're going to have all these different benefits. Hey, if you're blind, it can help you see. You know, if you can't move your legs, it can help you move your legs. So why the hell wouldn't you take it? If it's not the mark of the beast, go ahead and take it, man. Hey, they got uh, uh, this brother, Shalomar. Um, he had a video that was put out years ago, which he saw their technology, which was a wristband, and it could pull up a phone on your hand. So you actually dialing and talking to people at your hand with a, a 3, 3D image, mm -hmm. you know, holograph image. You know, so that's all geared to what the chip, man. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, and um, Apple too. Apple now they, they're trying to now now they're trying to uh, have these the giveaways with the watch now. You know, the watch. You know, mm -hmm. trying to get it close to your skin now. You know, they they they, 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 they talked about that. That's not going to work. 
so they know that they have to have something in, 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 um, uh, inserted in, in, into your skin. But yes. ultimately, though, we all, they're already programming the, the people for it because now everything used to be tangible, okay? Gold, silver, even when we had the money, okay? When you, had, when you didn't have the money, you could be able to go to the bank and be able to get tangible gold, right. tangible silver for the money. They took that away. Now everything is, is, is just numbers on the screen, right. digital currency. Mm -hmm. So now everything that used to be tangible now, is, there's nothing tangible now. Everything is just digital yes. of looking at numbers on the screen now. So whenever they can play with the numbers or, or, or totally wipe you out off the grid, just like um, Alan Russo said, if you don't want to play ball, they just erase, erase off everything that you have. Yeah. Okay, and then you'll just be an outcast. That's it. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're done away with. You're, you're the outcast of society. Okay, you know. So now they uh, now they have the power uh, of really just uh, have a total control. Okay, so now we, we they've already programmed the people to just rely on numbers on the screen. That's all this is a bunch of zeros on the screen. That's all it is now. Yeah, and that's why they push credit, man. That's why I say credit is everything. That's why you got any credit cards. You gotta apply for credit cards and shit like that because that's that continues to push those numbers on the screen, man. So now if you don't want those numbers on the screen, which is a little credit card, well now you're not gonna be able to get a car. You ain't gonna be able to get a house. You know, you ain't gonna be able to get a motorcycle, you ain't gonna be able to get a, a, a school loan like that that these Americans wanna get. So you forced to get those numbers on the screen pushing your face, man. Hey, credit. Hey, real quick, uh this for brother just charm I was gonna read um um, piece of the article. Uh, basically, the, the top the topic of the article is um, biometric chips, showing you that the chip goes with biometrics. So it says biometric chips. Are we ready to be microchip? Right. This is what the guy is asking. And then he says, hey, the real quick, because even the term biometric, it, it just simply means loosely translated measuring the body. You know, from the way you walk. You know, to, 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 to your iris scan, you know, to, to your gait, your, your facial recognition. You know what I'm saying? It's just measuring your whole temple. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, I got the definition that you have said that too. It said, what is uh, biometrics? Uh, it says, biometrics is the measurement and statistical analysis of people's unique physical and behavioral characteristics. Mm -hmm. Physical and behavioral. Mm -hmm. to show that what? The egg can tap into your frequencies to control your behavior. Right, yeah, real quick, yeah, real quick uh, Elder Ayatun, you know, the elder, uh, he put up a, a video of him experiencing firsthand. He was in Walmart. You ever seen the video? You ever saw the video? Yeah, well, they watched that video, man. He thought he was in Walmart and he looked up. You know how they have in the screens. Oh, yeah. And he looked up at the screen, you know, it's watching everybody. Mm -hmm. We used to that. He saw the civilians. Mm -hmm. But he noticed it was the, it was the yellow Ball, uh, square chasing everybody's face. Mm -hmm. So he like, yo, it's biometrics. This is facial yeah, recognition. Yeah. So basically, there are, and publicly, right in Walmart, nobody really cares. You know, they're actually identifying who you are and registering you into the system. Mm -hmm. And he said that he went and asked the lady, and he's like, y'all, you know, what is this? She was like, she don't know. So that shows you these people out there, they don't know shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, that shows you call that black nose song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got the ski mask and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll continue with this real quick. So, like I said, so the biometrics is the measurement and statistical analysis of people's unique physical and behavioral characteristics. The technology is made is mainly used for identification and access control mm -hmm. or for identifying individuals who are under surveillance. That's the bullshit right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they always got to find what a guy's to hide up under or cloak to, to cover what they're really trying to do, their true intentions, man. Right. You know? Uh, yeah, but that, that's it on that. Uh, real quick, I know the brother's got a lot to say. I just want to finish this. We go back right here so we use that. Uh, it says, for the first time ever, some companies are now starting to inject biometric chips into their employees. But what are the implications? And are we really ready to be cyborgs? You know? Yeah. And, um, and a lot of us are guilty of, of, of it also, of, of the conditioning, because a lot of times, though, they have that option now of using the iris to unlock your phone. You know? Mm -hmm. You see? And then. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. We're real quick. He says, um, 
According to biohacking company, dangerous things, we know, you know, know that. They you know, brothers uh, you know, through our radio store and put up the videos of dangerous things that eat might, you know, that company with the chip. It says between fifty thousand and a hundred thousand people already have the microchip implant. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and it's like a, it's a slow thing, though. But now, if you go outside of this country here, okay, all right, they've been doing it for years in, in, in India, okay, and they have to get a head start because those are one of the most populous areas of the world. Yeah. You know, they have to start to stop this process. Yeah. You know, and, and they're doing it in mass production. When you go to places like Sweden, when you go to places like Australia, it's already already it's already emotional. But now, this place here, Babylon, America, is such a big distant land. We shut out from the truth of what's really going on outside of these, these walls. Right. You see? So now, this is really, um, the ball's already rolling for this chip to be um, rolled out. It's already being rolled out anywhere else. But now, here in Babylon, okay, they know that the people are going to rebel against it, man. Yeah. You know? And this is the only place where there's more guns than people. You see? Okay? So now, like I said, it's going to end up being a bloodbath, man, at the end of the day with this place, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay? Being, being the fact that, that people put them in, in, in positions of difficulty to the fact that, that the government rises up against the people, the people are uh, fighting back, you know? So, so hey, hey, it, it, through the spirit of power of the Howard Bashima is it's not for no reason why there's more guns than people here, man, mm -hmm. you know? And then plus, too, what the brother was talking about as far as the uh, understanding, it's accurate because the fact that, that you can go through easy pass going 60 miles an hour and it's still scan, scan your video. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 a, it's an accurate uh, 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 setup that they have to have set up, man. It's, it's accurate, man. So they, everything is already, the foundation's already been set up, man. All right? And they're just ready to roll it out and just waiting for that 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 that, that one little incident, man, to happen to, where they, to, to open it up, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So now what we're doing is that we're warning the people to bring it out, okay? All right? To take heed, man. To take heed. You know, it's no time to be playing games and, 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 and trying to buck up against. You don't have no hedge on, on what we're saying. You cannot say it's, it's nothing else because if you don't believe that the um, RFID microchip is not, not the mark of the beast, if you're teaching that that it's not the mark of the beast, then, then okay, so then you don't believe in the judgment that's, that's going to be given right. if you take it. You right. see what I'm saying? So you're not, you're not preparing the people, man. You know? Yeah, so it's Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 11. The Lord said, Verily it shall be well with thy remnant. Mm -hmm. Verily I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction. Woo. Hey, you got it. Hey, yeah. hey, that time, hey, man, and that's for the elect, man. Hey, you gonna, we might have these these uh, uh these other nations, man, uh, uh treating, treating us well to where hey, man, they a lot of these people are stocking up, you know. They they ain't being able to uh, give us something that we be in need of. You know, you know, hey, Jay is spread out, man. So we're we're amongst the other nations, man. So it's gonna lead to to the fact that where uh, you might have somebody from another nation, okay? The Lord's gonna put the spirit upon them to be able to take care of His elect, man, in that time. You know, so we're gonna continually have that hedge upon us, man. You know, in that time, man. So the scripture says that it's gonna be well with us, man. You know, okay, all right. Death to you, you two thirds, man. You see, you two thirds that are bumping up against this truth. You two thirds that are scoffing at what we're saying, okay? All right, you people are, are wicked as all hell, man. And you're gonna eat the food of your doings, man. Got one more to feed the fire. This is Psalm chapter twenty-one, verse eleven. For they intended evil against thee; mm -hmm. they imagine a mischievous device, mm -hmm. which they are not able to perform. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's gonna come tonight. You know, you know, your plans are going to be dashed, okay? All right, you can have your way with the two thirds, though. But the but, but, but the but the remnant, with the elect, though, you're not gonna have your way with them, man. You know, okay. That's that's who you need to be worried about. Okay, you can have plans. You can put the death whatever whatever, whatever jinx you want to put the death against. But the Lord got a hedge over His elect, man. Touch not 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 my my anointed and do my service no harm, man. It says, therefore shalt thou make them turn their back. When thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. Yeah, I got something to go with those, with those scriptures, man. On Sirach chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter that ye may be safe. Hey, and we got to stay within within 
the guidelines of following the Hawa Hashem Shah, man, because we are doing this, man, to be able to be delivered in that time, man, to have that hedge to be protected in that time, man. There's no time to be playing games and no time to be, uh, uh, you guys, you, you jakes, man, you jakes don't know what's going on, man. You're, everything that you're doing is, is you're relying on Esau Edom, man. Hey. Everything you do, man, you're rejecting what the Lord, Lord uh, um, has set up to, to, uh, to salvation, man, you're rejecting it. Yeah, man, I'm going to bring this out. Uh, it's got, a, got a crime on the comment board. Uh, Manny, Manny Tuck. He says, those who believe the microchip is the beast, you should throw away your iPhones, Samsung Galaxy, credit cards, etc. Uh, laughing out loud, <laughs> idiots. Okay, well, 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 look, well, look, though. The scripture says that they receive it in your hand or you're in your forehead. Yeah. You know? Okay? You know, we, we're using this world and that we're not abusing the world. You exactly, know what I'm saying? Exactly. You understand what I'm saying though? We 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 are gonna we're gonna fucking ride this bitch to the end, man. And then when it comes to the time to where they they implement this whole thing as a as a whole to where it goes against the scriptures and we understand the prophecies uh, pursuant to Revelation 14 and 9 on down, okay? We understand that. Okay? So you guys is carnal, man. Well, you look, know? Even in that, that goes to show he don't know nothing. Right. And that's why it's important to know the meaning of words. Mm -hmm. Mark in the Greek is karatma, right. which means a thing inserted. Mm -hmm. The iPhone is not inserted into our hands. Right. Mm -hmm. A credit card is not inserted into our hands nor right. our forehead. Mm -hmm. So what purpose would it serve us to throw that away? Right. And how are you going to use that as leverage to stand on? Mm -hmm. That just goes to show that you're nothing but an agent, you know, and your efforts are futile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I add to the brother's um. The brother, um, the video the brother grew up about the, the, uh, the design of the chip. What clicked to me is when you watch that video, they were like trying to figure out, you know, what's the best place to um, insert the chip. Mm -hmm. And what they say, in the right hand or in the forehead, man. Mm -hmm. Which goes exactly with Revelation 13 and 16, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so what, what do you guys say? What do you guys say against that, man? Hey, hey you, know? you know what it is, though? These guys, they, 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 they you know, these little tech, techie, techie guys. You guys can be the first guys in line to go take it, man. Go yeah. take it, then, man. Then why are you watching? Yeah. You don't have to watch this. You go, 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 go play in traffic. Yeah. Go do, go do something else other than watch what, what, talk about what we're saying now. Mm -hmm. You think that what you're saying, you think, you're, oh, we're gonna just pack up and just leave and just, okay, that's it, you got it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You ain't got it, though. Like I said, though, we're not worried about the phone yeah. or, 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 or a car. The scripture says, in, in their hand or their forehead, mm -hmm. we know that the time is going to come to where it's going to be mandatory, made mandatory. Hey, man, okay, so you can laugh all you want. Hey, this, this shows you that, you know, certain people only come to look for entertainment. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It, you know, and this is what these other different camps don't realize, mm -hmm. you know, just because they, they, they supporting you as far as, you know, bigging you up, they really not learning. They don't know nothing. They just look at, they on the page to serve for entertainment. Now he goes and says this, man, he tuck. It says, you do understand the concept of the mark of the microchip was originated by an Edomite. Okay. Oh, oh okay. We we we, we already expounded upon that. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. we we they've been yeah. talking about this since since over 20, probably more than however you were you were you were, you were, I don't know how old you are though, but more than likely we know that this is going back over 20 years ago they were talking about this. They were talking about debit over 20 years ago. We understand that there was uh, some way, so, but we understand that's the device of the wicked. We understand that's the device of the wicked. Like I said, we don't know uh, what nation you are, though, but what 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 uh, uh, point are you trying to make? Look, that, wait, 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 Which means you're an agent. You're an tell, agent. Tell us something we don't know. Tell us something no, you don't know. No, no. We opened up getting into that. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Well, well, who do you think the he? Who do you think the he is that called the dog both small and great, right. rich or poor, right. Peter Bong, to receive a mark in their right hand? Right. right. Who's the beast? Who's who's the he? The he is talking about <laughs> Esau either, man. Yo, daddy. <laughs> I, got, I got something. This is, this is the book of Psalm, chapter 125, verse 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Ooh, Least the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Ooh, that's, 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 that's beautiful. It's Psalm, chapter 125, verse 3. For the rod of the wicked, mm. which is what? The chip. Right. right. Shall not rest upon the law of the righteous, mm -hmm. which is the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Least the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Mm -hmm. You see that? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And taking that shit. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, and, hey. And, and, and Esau Edom is going to use the rod to force people to make, to, to, to take the chip. Okay? So when that time comes to where they're going to force to take the chip, we know not to take it. Mm -hmm. 
You see? Okay, so, so you're talking about the, the iPhone and, and all this technology they've got. It's, all it is is just a rolling out to try to lead up to, to actually what they really want to do. Exactly. Is to insert it within your hand or your forehead. Okay, okay? which is a, a branding, which means they own you. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can take it all you want, whatever you want. It, it don't matter to us though. Okay, all right? You ain't coming to get up against us. You're coming against, uh, up against the scriptures. Okay, mm -hmm. whether or not you believe in the scriptures or not. Okay, hey, you're just ready for destruction if you do take it. Mm -hmm. I got some. Uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 3 says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Mm -hmm. So, hey, here it is, man. You know, when the hour of temptation is coming upon everybody, hey, we're going to be increased, man. Our faith is going to be increased in that day. Okay, our strength is going to be increased in that day. Our zeal, see how about should now shine. We're going to be completely increasing that day. Our spiritual powers is going to be increasing that day. Okay? And we're not going to fall victim to that damn shit, man. All right? This clown on the comment board, you know, you should go um, watch that video of how it will go down. Because that's pretty much your story, man. Huh. You know? You live in this nice life, you know? Yeah, his wife is in, in Pilates class. He's in the tennis club. Yeah. You know, his daughter's in ballerina dances. And his sons were on the football team. <laughs> you know? And then when the next three days, you got the neighbor knocking on his door, asking for all food, man. You know? In the next three days, you eating cat food, man. You don't know how this thing is going to go down, man. All right? We the watchmen, okay? That's the true living power established upon the earth, man. All right? We the watchmen, and that's what we're doing right now, man. Trying to warn the people, okay? You're going to get caught, caught in the crossfires, man. You're going to fucking die pretty much, man, according to this Bible, man. Confusion your face get down right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got something real quick. This happened with two and one. I will stand up on my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and why I shall answer when I am reproved. Mm -hmm. And, you know, going into what the brethren was saying, the Most High is showing you, you know what I'm saying, what, you know what I'm saying, the prophecy coming to pass right in front of your face, man. But like the, um, I'm just read this real quick, Matthew 13 and verse 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He saith unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Whosoever. Yeah, man. Yeah, so. And so the most I was saying, Look, I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? Us being a man of the Lord, you know, like a, a happy book said, When you see it, you're going to run, man. And you're going to fear, man. You're going to warn the people. As a prophet of the Lord is supposed to do, man. But to them, it's not given, man. And most times not dealing with you. This, this might as well be a dark saying, man, to you, because you're not going to get it. Yeah, and the thing yeah. is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen it uh, on the wall. I think Apostle Tahar put up a lesson um, recently, today, you know, on uh, we're not going to stop talking about the RFID microchip and those words, roughly, man. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to stop prophesizing because we know that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. All right? That chip... Meaning, going into the Greek word karagma, meaning an incision, being placed within the body, all right? And when it says right hand or forehead, that's just an indicator that it's, in, it's a physical mark inside the body, man. And guess what? Um, one of the insiders um, from a few videos I watched, he was talking about how um, that the chips are going to have to be rechargeable. So you're not going to have just one chip eventually. You might get one chip the first time, but eventually you're going to have to see your primary doctor again and get a new chip or an updated chip, you know? So these, so really, if society goes on the way Esau plans it for his new world, then we're, we're going to be really uh, mo Cyborg. mobile. Yeah, Cyborg. Cyborg with many chips in us, man. Mm -hmm. and, and let it be known by the chips where, uh, well, let it be also known the chips that advance the body. Really, the RFID microchip does something simple. It identifies you, it GPS tracks you, all right? It's a form of currency because it deals with near-field communication. So it's a transaction that makes things convenient, man. Mm -hmm. But guess what? There also are chips to advance your mind. Hey, I put an article, what was it, about a month ago maybe, about how China and how China chipped their military soldiers with three microchips, man. Right. And they can control drones by their thoughts, man. Yeah. So China, Moab, they on a, they on another level, right. you know. Well, Gopher goes into super soldiers. 
and also resistance to pain. You know, there's, there's things where computer chips could get inserted in your brain mm -hmm. and you can have a better tolerance for, right. for, for, for pain right. and things like that if you get shot. Right. You know, you, you're still gonna be physically able to, um, uh, uh, to go into combat, yeah. you know? It's creating the super soldier. So there's many different purposes for the chip. But from my understanding, the way that they're trying to do it once they insert the chip inside of you yeah. is that you are the battery. You know, a lot of them aren't really even um, aren't don't need to be rechargeable because your 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 spirit, you know your you know um, yeah basically your spirit is what drives the chip because the chip is just an antenna a receptor right. with a, a with a with a microchip within it that stores your data that stores your financial medical all of that you know but you're the battery that keeps it alive now will they update it and make better ones absolutely yeah. you know because. Yeah. And like how you say, we're the battery that keeps it alive. But you gotta remember, like the Matrix, and, and how they had all of the people in the fields with the with, in the the, the low fluid and all that. And they said that we were the batteries. Mm -hmm. Why? Because our spirit carries that 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 energy, that vibration. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying to be able to charge to keep that thing in charge. You know what I'm saying? So we are the living battery in it, right? Yeah. And then just just to get into the uh, further edification, like on the blue letter, and another point I want to bring out real quick of Karagma. That's what a stamp and then printed mark to get to the point of say what thing carved sculpture graven work uh, from the same as a scratch or etching. So if you scratch or etch something, that's going into something, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then to go further, to go further into it, into the uh, further on into the etymology of Karax, a pale or state a palisade. Mm -hmm. Pales in between earth, stones, trees, and timbers are heaped and packed together. So what is, it's a pale in between yeah, something. It's an impale something. Yeah, it says what? Uh, uh, to sharpen to a point akin to through the idea of scratching a stake. Mm. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the brother Rob my young. The brother Rob my young. He put up here um, a stake that penetrates into the skin. Yeah. Mm. Is that right? Yeah. So yeah. when you put all that together, it makes a perfect point. And then further implication, the brother from. Um, uh, London a while a while some years ago he did the lesson and he got into the, the 666 the, the high side stigma mm -hmm. and when you go into it right and it was a beautiful beautiful lesson and when you go into it it goes into the word Sam L right mm -hmm. and when you look up Sam L on, on Wikipedia it's spelled S-A-M-A-E-L now check this out this is deep this is how you know it's the marketing piece if you can't get this understanding right it says Sam L Hebrew Venom of God, poison of God, right? Is an important archangel in Talmudic and post-Talmudic lore, mm. a figure who is the accuser, Hashatun, mm. Satan, right? Seducer and destroyer, and has been regarded as both good and evil. Rabbinical writings describe mm. Sam El as the guardian angel of Esau and a patron of Esau. Yeah. Come on, man. Talk Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, hey, what that tell you? Man. That tells you a lot of application right, right there. This is the guardian of Esau, man. Hey. Satan, man. That, so if you take this, what you bowing down to Satan? Yes. Hey, hey, a brother, uh, hey. a brother on here, Lord Derry. He put um, he put a, he put something up in here too. Uh, so I can find it. Uh, he put a, uh, in that chip, got a kill switch, I bet. So you know Esau oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. got a kill switch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there was an Edomite that uh, he walked around and he was an experiment to show you that he can read your credit card with a, with a uh, uh, RFID reader. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and he doesn't have to, uh, you know, touch you. Yeah, yeah. He can just be in the same vicinity mm -hmm. and as far as the antenna can reach. And he pulled up this woman's um credit card from out of her wallet with folded up in the yeah, pocketbook yeah. and, and then he, he went and cashed out some money. Mm -hmm. He went to the woman and said, Look, is your card number such and such? And she looking at it, she saying, Yeah, I don't even know that. Yeah. You know, and he told her, I took twenty dollars from you or something. And she go, How did you do that? He said, Because I had this reading. He told her, she like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. You know, and they take her, they're getting her response. Right. Yes, Edomites. That also have, you know, that yeah, it, yo, let me say this one example. If an Edomite, little white, little Edomite kid wanna be an asshole, all he gotta do is go on, go on um, eBay, Amazon, buy a reader for about 150 bucks, 
and 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 walk around playing with people's radio frequency uh number, man. Yeah. You know? And and, and and best believe, um I'm pretty I'm I'm convinced that to the point where if Esau wanted to, all he gotta do is get within range, or if he had his his super technology to shoot certain rays or certain energy towards you, he can burst that chip inside of your skin. Oh, yeah. And we know that uh what's built in the chip Sorry. is this sign now. So if that leaks into your bloodstream, you're dead. Mm -hmm. So what that leads to, to the scripture in Isaiah, Isaiah uh, 14, you want to be as the most high, man. Mm -hmm. You want to sit in the seat of the most high. And, and this is why they're going to create that narrative now, because you're going to have a lot of people that are going to get hackles on those readers. And they're going to say, people's identity has been stolen. So now it goes, goes all the more of me being able to get it inserted. So like I said, he still has all these, these uh, mm -hmm. uh, avenues set up to where he's trying to streamline you to... to, to to compel you to put it into your hand. You see? So this is why he's trying to streamline it to where, you know, oh, this is because of this. Oh, this is because of that. Oh, the welfare system, we gotta get them chipped. This right here, immigrants, we gotta get them chipped. So now they have everything set up to where they're gonna eventually have it to, and then the remnant of the other people, okay, well, everything, everybody else, we're gonna do it, do it by force. You know? Okay? Now, if you're not gonna get it done, we're gonna, we're gonna have to put you to death. You know, so you, you people that are, that are trying to talk about iPhones and, and cards, you, you're calm because you don't understand that this is a spiritual thing. You know what I'm saying? And we know that through the scriptures, though, we're not to insert it to when they, they offer it to us as far as it being uh, incision into our hand. Hey, look, well, at, look at Venezuela, man. Venezuela was in a crisis of food and water, man. There was a famine over there that, that, that here in America they didn't talk about too much. But well, brothers that being watched, man, we see this stuff, man. We watch it, seeing, seeing true news, man. Here on the highways of the internet, man. All right? And now look at them. As far as they're building, building back up their country, they have now gone, what? Digital currency, dealing with cryptocurrency. You know, as a norm now, on buying and selling. You know? So you got to get down with it. Hey, this brother here, he know a little bit about the cryptocurrency. Well, a couple of brothers in Great Millstone know. I don't know shit too much, but this brother could put you on and tell you. But here it is: if we if we forced it, let's just say without the chip, we did, we have to be forced to deal with cryptocurrency. I would now have to learn how cryptocurrency is traded. I would have to learn how do it works. How can I make money with it? How can I sell or buy with it? I don't know that shit, but I would have to learn this way. So I'm being what forced if I was in Venezuela to start learning. Okay, what cryptocurrency is, you know? And you know, Jake, Jake, Jake is, is twelve tribes, man. All right, Jake is hard headed. Jake is, you know, one things to be simple, man. Yeah. And you know what? Just give me the chip. I ain't got time to be doing all that. You know what I'm saying? Or just make it easy. What what way is easy? I I can't. I can't. I can't. Look, I just want to buy this. You know? Yeah. Come on, man. We we this. The title of the topic is the Mark of the Beast system is in motion. Hey, and my, oh my bad. No, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, yeah, and like the, cause the main point of it, what did Yahweh Shah say? He said, render unto Caesar, man. So whatever it is, let him have it. Let him have his way with this shit, but don't compromise yourself. That's the whole point of the matter, man. Whatever belongs unto them, give it to them. Okay, they want to play with this technology, tax it. They want to play with this technology, they want to change the form of money. Okay, let them have that. You learn a little shit to get by, but you don't compromise your integrity in the Lord, man. That is the main fucking point of it, man. If that was the case, you could have said they was going on by going on by paying taxes and all of that shit, man. Mm -hmm. They just trying to live, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why the Lord said that we ought to obey God rather than man. Because yeah. man's going to create certain rules that goes contrary to the commandments of the Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. right, I got something real quick. This is Revelation chapter 16, verse 14. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. You know what I'm saying so what that mark of the beast is an um is a device that can also work miracles. Like the brother made uh the example earlier that it can it, it can it can tend to make a paraplegic start moving limbs again. You know, that's a case an example of a of a miracle of working. You know, or like the, the brother also mentioned, 
not being able to feel pain because the chip is already inserted in you. That's the case of an, uh, a miracle being born. You know? So when all of this is coming to pass, it is going to lead up to that great and terrible day where the Lord is going to judge these nations. You know? Oh, man, I can see also with the RFID chip, man, it's like a like a damn, like a Bluetooth, man. You know? You know how you could connect to a Bluetooth? There's no device to connect. Or, or you'd be able to connect to a Bluetooth to your damn uh, uh, headphones, mm -hmm. wireless headphones or a car radio. And you could connect. And then when you connect, what? You could pick whatever song you want to play. And then it will connect to your radio. Well, it could be the same thing with you, man. Yeah. You got a damn devil coming to collect bills or something. He'll come to you. Yo, what's your, uh, what's your, what's your chip code, man? You know, here it is. You got to tell him. And he can connect to you. And he can do whatever sort you want. He can pull money from you. Mm -hmm. Or whatever the case may be, man. That's why you lose your damn soul when you take that, man. Hey, hey. Yeah. Esau, just real quick. Esau, don't think that just by putting a chip in you, he's finished. Yeah. Like this brother said, you just made me think of, you could be a walking Wi-Fi. Yeah. That's how bad this technology can get. It's that deep, man. That's why we understand that it's the mark of the beast. It's that deep. And, I, and it's basically understandable that why. The Lord said if you take that mark, you're going you're gonna to be cast into what? The lake of fire, man. You know, that, that, that destroys your DNA gene code. That's your genetic makeup. They got chips and, and they now splicing... Uh, cells to to uh, to modify uh, people's DNA as a baby, man. You know they want to chip babies when they're born. The procedure of a baby being born, you come out the womb, they wipe them off, they give them back to the mother. She stay on them, then they take the baby, then they 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 examine the baby, all this and that. Before that baby leave the hospital, go with his parents. I'm pretty sure they want to put chips on them. You know. I got a scripture. This is um, second. I just chapter nine. Real, real quick, real quick. A, a prime example because they always put these things out in the movies, the TV shows, and all of this. If you don't recognize that, you're a fucking idiot. Straight up and down. But a prime example, the movie Divergent. They had like three of them: Divergent, Insurgent, and, and the last one. I think it was like the second or the last one, and they inserted chips in them, and they didn't want to do a certain something. They did something with their chip, and some of them walked to their death off yeah. of a cliff, man. That's a prime example. And then some of them was to the edge of the cliff, but then they got to the power point to, uh, to, to stop the whole machine, and then the last few didn't fall off the cliff. But they didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? So that's prime example of them fucking with your frequencies, man. Like cancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what we cancer. Man, they yeah. had fucking them. So they shoot people up. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they hide it. Hey, Mars attacks. <laughs> That's an example of uh, uh, the <laughs> That was back in 96. So we already know this plan was already in motion back then. You know what I'm saying? Heighten those frequencies, you know what I'm saying, to where now there's a riot. You know? And that's also going to allude to um, depopulation. Because that's all part of the plan. Calm. You know, by pushing for a button. Calm. Hey, this is a second edge, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. That's right, that's right. Yeah, we're in that time the Lord is about to visit. Yeah, yeah, you got it up. You got it. Oh, all right, yeah. yeah. This is the time that the Lord is actually visiting the earth, man. This is the last time, well, you know. This is the last time you heathens going to rule this, this, this earth in witness, man. You know? Go ahead. You got it up. Consul says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes mm. and uproars of the people in the world. Hey, is it not an uproar of France right now? It's always an uproar, man. It's always an uproar, meaning the people are not are not feeling right. You know? This, it, and it's happening in different countries, man. It's earthquakes going on every day, man, and that's something that get kind of blown, uh, thrown under the under the rug, man, because it's so much other things that's happening. You might not look for earthquakes. You might they might be like, yeah, I know earthquakes happening, but you ain't looking for it. But then you see uh, certain um, guys, the Most High put the Spirit on, like uh, Dabu, you know, to to actually make it uh, published. 
And now you watch you like, oh shit, damn, that wrecked the scale a little. Damn, it was five earthquakes and one displacement, whatever, you know? And then you like, damn, yo, that's the Lord, man. Oh, hey, you got this guy, um, I don't know his nationality, but Jason A. He's ongoing. He never stopped with these videos and showing all the current events and things that's happening, man. Hey, sometimes you need to you need to probably, you know, take some time to watch some news. Go watch Jason A, man. Now, you probably don't know the truth, but still, the most high uses everybody, man. But he's going to save a few, which is that, that remnant, man, that election. You know, and then, hey, they help, they help in the prophets. You know? That's how, that's how we measure the times diligently within itself. Mm. Due to the current events that's being published, and we filter it through the scriptures. Oh. You know what I mean? And even because they said back when it was 2017, mm -hmm. when they said, uh, when it was on NBC, and it was, they was uh, uh, doing a meditation, and it was like, uh, the year is 2017, and you rush to, an, you rush to a hospital. You can't speak, but through an RFID chip, you know, they already read it. And now it means 2019. All right, but uh, oh yeah, it said uproars of the people. Right. You know, you also got uproars that spilled over into Israel. And uh, them Israeli Amalekite devils, they're protesting because of uh, the cost of living is going up, the cost of electricity, water, and food. They got to pay a little bit more. So they over there protesting, man. And the way that this devil could come in, they can have it where the cost of living just continues to rise, just like in that video, how it will go down. Now you got uproars of the people heavily, mm -hmm. but guess what? There's a solution, you know? I see that everybody's upset, everybody's marching. We'll take this RFID chip and everything will go back to normal, man. Yeah. So we see that as well. If I if you. Hey, yeah, yeah. Order okay, okay. hey, real quick, I just want to make this mention. Um, Hey, brothers on the comment board, pay that dude Manny no mind, yo. He's just Satan, man. He's set up by Satan, man. and he's Jake. He's Jake. You can tell by the way he talk. And, and here it is. He's scoffing against the mic of the market of beasts. Who take you know, he's, 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 he's hoping that, uh, you know, you be uh, taken by him. But nobody stays by that guy. That guy is, uh, is, is going to be missile food, man. You know, but you got to. Uh, no, I was just going to say, um, uproars of the people and getting into the title of the lesson of, um, uh, the RFID chip is in motion. Well, let's 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 go to show a, a quick example of how far back it actually went into motion. All right, um, you talk about earth, um, um, uproars of the people. Why are people uproaring in France? They're, mm -hmm. they're uproaring in France because of high taxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're uproaring around the world because the cost of living has gone up, right, mm -hmm. due to the devaluing of the dollar. Now, when did this start? Mm -hmm. December twenty third, nineteen thirteen when they created the Federal Reserve, mm -hmm. okay? Printing money out of thin air mm -hmm. for, for purposes of, 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 of bringing up words of the people, devaluating the dollar, printing money in the first place, <clears throat> um, devaluated the dollar. That's another form of gradualism, okay? Taking, taking value away from, uh, uh, taking the convenience because what? It was inconvenient to walk around with silver and gold with you. Yeah. So what they do, they put money on paperback, all right? Now, ATMs on the computer screen. Now, cryptocurrency, all the way, you know, and, and, and however which way in order that it went. But you know, that's the gradualism, but that's how far back it actually went. It all started with the Federal Reserve in 1913. Mm -hmm. That's why people are rioting to this day because the Federal Reserve messed up the entire world currency. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. all of oil runs off of the petrodollar. So what? The Federal Reserve uh, um, um, affected the entire world. That's why these other um, these other countries are trying to get away from the dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's all orchestrated. It's all the motion and the plans of the rich elites to push towards the RFID microchip. It's that, that deep. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> that deep. It's, it's, that's the new world order. The new world order. When you hear people talk about it, they may find out. Okay, who the elites, the Rob Child, the Bird, but they think they know something. Yeah. Now, what's their goals, though? They can't tell you. Right. They just spot out, oh, that's propaganda, that's an agenda. All right, yeah, that is an agenda, but what is their whole goal? The goal is to uh, implant microchips in everyone, man, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, and then that's their new world, man. Okay. Yeah, and they, you, and they think they're going to build from there. You got it. At the site, I'm um, going into the lesson, you know, about, almost like the compilation of what Aki was saying, it's called Biohacks. Which you know, that's the company in Sweden that's in, uh, you know uh, issuing out the chip. So it says a global market leader. It says um, 
when you go on the site, um, biohacks.tech, it says biohacks installs worldwide with more than a thousand professionals in the financial, healthcare, government, science, and te te technology sectors are using their biohacks installed to live a seamless experience with their connect with their connected surroundings, like Akim was saying. You know, then when you um when you read down, right, it, um the part where it says technology, all right, it says biohacks is a passive near field communications. Now when you look up this uh which you know which we you know he saw the devil like the scriptures say, you know, he speak uh um with smooth words yet what was in his heart. Mm -hmm. And just you look up this, you know, that's how you know this guy is the devil because you look up this word what bio has, which what bio which means body, acts means to break into. Mm -hmm. All right, so how can he be passive, man? You know, well, how, how could biohacks go or put a chip in somebody be passive? All right, so it says it's a passive near field communications device inserted certified biohackers. You know, so it's nothing uh, safe when basically you got a damn computer in your body, man. Yeah. All right, because anybody can hack it. Mm. That's the name biohacking. Well, matter of fact, the chip actually hijacks your brain frequency. Mm. If you watch the video, the old famous video, the one with the guy, the Edomite with the black gloves, and he was chipping the guy, he told the guy to look and focus his eyes on the wall that was before him. And he told him to breathe in slow, inhale, and exhale, because he said the chip needs to register to your, your waves, your, your body needs to adjust to it. Right. And the guy went, you know, so it shows you that the chip itself is a, is a hijacking your brain waves, man. Because mm -hmm. it's dealing with frequencies. How do your brain actually, how do you think of thoughts through frequencies? When they show you on little um, images or dot or like YouTube videos, they go inside the brain, they show you the electrons, going, you know, the, you know, all that is a frequency. You know, it's kind of hard to explain. Right. It, makes you know? sense. it makes sense because like they, what they say, your brain is what, uh, the, um, it's basically the center for your central nervous system. You know what I'm saying? That's what my brother was saying. You know, hey, that, that goes into your frequencies, but it reads, it says, biohacks is a passive near field communication device inserted certified biohackers. Here's, here's, here's where they get you. It does not contain a battery tracking system or any GPS enablement, which we know is a lot. No, where's the battery? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, the right. GPS. Yeah, 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 that's right. It says, the biohacks ins installs install enables the carrier to increase their security in a digital world, providing 100% identification clearance and unlimited seamless experiences with their connecting surroundings. Hey, if, if that's the case, then why are they putting RFID chips in dogs to keep them trapped? Why are they trying to do this with kids to keep them trapped? Mm -hmm. With, 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 with uh, uh, people that have mental issues, why are they doing that then? Exactly. If the one that they go and give us not going to have no tracking devices, are we to believe that bullshit? Right. <laughs> Come hey, on, man. You watch the, the newscast on um, the uh, the international uh, Georgia uh, Atlanta Atlanta uh, airport, the new airport they made. Um, the guy goes and says that um, the company said they're not gonna keep your facial recognition after twelve hours. Like they'll once you go through it, they, they said that they'll have your facial recognition for twelve hours, and then it will go away. That's a damn lie. Right. You know, your, shit, your, your facial recognition will always be in a database just in case they need to find it. If they search and do somebody doing some stupid exactly. shit, they'll search up and okay, this they got them. They, ne they never throw away that. You know, right. that's that's a, that's added into your that your uh, your uh, database. Yeah, and, and the whole lie about the, the the chip not doing GPS or tracking your every movement. You know that's a bold faced lie because here it is, your cell phone, which uses the same near field communication yeah. technology tracks everywhere you go. That's why you could go up to the local Applebee's and you stand outside in the parking lot and on your phone it'll be like, rate your experience with Applebee's. Right. All right? So how do you know? Right. Hey, hey, hey. Matter of fact, there was a high school or elementary school in Texas. I read this years ago. It was in the article. And this girl, I think she might have could have been Ishikar. She could have been Jake. But anyway, um, she the school was issuing out ID tags and her family wasn't with it. And she had to wear it home, wear it back to school. So what she did was she all way going home from school, she threw it away. She tossed it, threw it in somebody's yard, whatever. Mm -hmm. Why when she got back to school, they said, here, here's your tag that you lost. They tracked the tag and found it and they gave her back her tag. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. 
So it's a GPS tracker no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know? I got something real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 32. Hey, matter of fact, how do you track down cargo? Isn't cargo with dealing with uh, trucks and you know, and everything. Yeah, if a, if it went missing, if they found it, okay, scan it, or it just goes back to that, you know, this shipping, you know? Like that. Ain't that what happened in that in that movie Red Dawn? When he shot, he shot the kid with oh. like an arrow or something. Yeah, 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 you know, this devil wants to push that whole Luciferian doctrine. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be one way. Take the chip or die. Go ahead. Verse 6, the vow, for the vile person will speak violently, villainly, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter errors against, the, against Yahweh, to make empty the souls of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Mm -hmm. The instruments, the instruments also of the churl are evil. Right. When you look at word churl up, it means an impolite, uh, in spirit, uh, how it means spirit, mean spirited, mean spirited, spirited person, a peasant, a peasant man. Mm -hmm. That that's that go right along with who the Edomites are, man. That's what they are, peasants, man. Hey, Bauer means peasant. Mm. You know what I'm saying the uh, the Rothschilds, their name was originally originally the Bowers. Mm. You know what I'm saying it means peasant. Mm. They wanted to escape from that whole vibration. Mm. Is it? The instruments also the churl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words. Yeah, saying that the RFID microchip is uh is good for you or facial recognition. Mm. You know, I uh, ID scanning. You know. One white woman on the, on that little video, she said, uh, well, they doing it every day. Why not? I don't see no problem with it. Yeah, it's because you're stupid, man. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, hey, it, it, the only thing Esau give you is free. You know it's going to kill you, man. You yeah. know, look at the uh, flu shot. Yeah, you know? I was going to say that. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know? It says, it says to destroy the poor with lying words, even, oh, it's locked. Let me read it again. The instruments also the show are evil. He devises wicked devices. To destroy the poor with lying words, you know, talking about only give you advantages and not the disadvantages. Really, the disadvantage, the disadvantage, all right, is a new. This is even when the needy speak it right, you know, mm. and that's us, man. We telling you what the truth is, man. We telling you not to take the shit because the Most High will destroy you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta look at, you know, brother talk about. You gotta look at the um, it's physical. All right, but spiritually, you're going against the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. You know, it's physical, all right, because, but because you went against the Heavenly Father, man, yeah, you're going, uh, it's that serious, man, to where the Most High is going to allow you to be, like, burned up, all right, with your spirit still in your body, all right, on, on, on and nuclear fire, that's hot, uh, what is it, 100 times or something like that, hotter than the sun, mm -hmm. you know, so it's very serious that you don't take that chip, man. And you know what? The chip is the most, really, I'll say one of the last most important prophecy to get right because it determines life or death, man. Because we all are going to, well, everyone in the world is going to be faced and taken. Hey, uh, Revelations 3 and 10, the Lord said, He, he that hold fast his word, he will uh, hold fast us from the temptation. Mm -hmm. You know, so that means that those that hold fast is true, you know. Hey, we won't have to worry about that, man. Because why? We have that spirit that the Lord put upon us to not take the chip, and we will eat during the famine and things of that nature, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so really, the RFID chip is one of the biggest prophecies. That's the last prophecy, really, besides World War Three and nuclear destruction and the deliverance of Israel through the chariots. That's still got to take play, you know. But this chip is going to be forced before all of that, man. You know. This is uh, I'm just reading chip scripture. Mm -hmm. Plus, plus anything else? Mm -hmm. Revelations thirteen and sixteen, and he calls them all, both small and great, right? Which the brother went into. He's um, he saw Edom, all right. And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, 
Queen Bond to the city of Marvel. And the in the right hand. Oh, sorry, we're 14. Okay. Um, Revelation 13 and 14. And, and he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Yeah, with his lying tongue, his deceit, him being a devil, because the word devil means deceiver. And he, def and he deceived them by the means of those miracles, that great technology. The fact that you could raise your arm, wave it by a door, and open up the door, you know? That's, you know, wave it past a vending machine and get yourself a damn Snickers bar or something like that, man. You know? It's all appealing to the eye. It's, it, it looks fun and convenient the way this devil sells it. But what he deceived you, man. Mm -hmm. You know, he lined you up and, 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 and prepared it and, and numbered you up for the sword, man, for destruction. Spe you know, specifically if you're an Israelite, man. Yep. You yep. know? Yep. And that's why the brother just broke it down, man. And, and Isaiah 32, man, he's looked at as a liberal person. But really, we know him to be a saint. Yeah. He's deceiving you, you know what I'm saying? Really, really he got the people in the trick back already, man. That's why two thirds of our people yeah. they fight for him, you know what I'm saying? They fight for him even even when he's doing wickedness behind, you know, right in front of you, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got scoffers on the comic board, and, and we ain't even mad at you, man. You yeah. feel sorry for you, man. Yeah. You've been deceived by Esau, man, by the means of his miracles. Got you out there scoffing against us, telling us that that's not the trick, man. All right. You know, same time, he still got a noose around your neck. And he may well gonna be taking a chip and make you die of grievous death. Hey, the brother, you know, in the comment, boy, don't fall for that shit, man. You know, just keep paying attention to what's going on and the hell with them because they're gonna die of grievous death, you know? Yeah. That was a miracle you being able to purchase something with your phone. Right. You know, they got something called Samsung Pay, mm -hmm. Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That would have never been known to man for you to be able to. Purchase items with a phone. Yeah, yeah. 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 Think, think about how much you purchase. Like, if you want to go from, you want to buy something on eBay, <coughs> mm -hmm. you search it mainly probably on your phone. Yes, and you, might, you might be at the job and you just want to say, oh, what's that shit at? Oh, what's that shit at? Oh, oh, that yeah. oh. And then what? You doing by numbers. Yeah. So you already doing it, so they figure, why not just put it in your own home? Yeah. 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 And, and further into the deceit, especially of the cell phone, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a miracle. But what, but what else? How, um, how does the devil um, deceive us with the cell phone? Oh, well, you know, you sleep next to it, you keep it around you, you keep holding it to your head to give you brain cancer, right. man. You know? Yep. This technology is really not good for your health, man. That's why the Lord's gonna burn all this shit up, man. Yo, niggas out here that over there, you know, you drive everybody walking around with headphones on their head. Yeah. To where they cross the street and they so in tune with what they listening to, they don't realize a real car is coming. And then they go, and then when they get, and then when you pull up on them and they ain't looking at you and you like, look at this nigga. Oh, it's a tornado. Come, <laughs> come. You know, like I was saying, for the thing cut off, here it is. You pull up, you can already. Already call it. You'll be like, look at this dude, yo. look at this dude. He don't even see me coming. You got headphones on. <laughs> and then when you you you, you sneak, you caught it, him. It feel like you sneaking up on him. Then when you you pull up on him, he noticed the big the big car right there. He go like dude, like and then he go right back when he do that. He go right back to his sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, niggas, yo, you two thirds is freaking retarded, man. Ain't yeah. deserve death, man. You know, detached from reality. Yeah, you're like wicked ass. I mean, uh, crooked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come, man. Like you're saying, man. Yeah, you know, but, 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 you know, crooked ass Wells Fargo, man. You know, getting into how this infrastructure is set up, man. One time I was running late, and uh, I needed to get some cash, man. And I forgot my damn. But guess what? I was like, oh shit, I forgot they got the little phone app. Mm -hmm. So what you gotta do? I don't even know how it works, man. I forgot how that shit works, but you take your phone to the ATM. And I guess you uh, uh, Bluetooth it or uh, link it up, however you link it up with your phone, and you're able to get the cash out through your phone, man. Damn. So you don't even need, you really don't even need your um your uh, uh, um, your, your debit card no more, man. Mm -hmm. Everything is now transferred over into your phone, man. You know, through the cash app and oh, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And now from the phone, it went from you know, the tangible, from it went from the gold to the Federal Reserve notes to debit card to your phone and to you. Right. He still think he's slick. Yeah. Meanwhile, the whole time he still think he's slick with it. Yeah, Gradual stage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, with that, you know what I'm saying? We've proven the point. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the scoffer because you just helped us edify our points even further. 
you know what I'm saying, about the market of these uh, uh, technology, you know what I'm saying, actually being the chip and showing how that system is here. You can't see that, you just gone, man. You're going to die a horrible death, and we don't feel sorry for you because we give you warning, you know what I'm saying, from the Lord, your house, and the same, your house shot, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, free game. Huh? It's free game. Come, come. So, uh, with that, you know, we hope the segment was edifying. I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to your house. The apostles and the elders, great millstone, and shall want to like out there, doing the word of faith, and they will love true sincerity. And uh, shall want to love one coming to us. Shall want to love one.